Hey, happy homebrew Wednesday. Um, <clears throat> coming up, I've got got a beer review. Um, not not in this episode, but um, soon. Um, Emerson's American Pale Ale, uh, sort of a limited release, 500 ml bottle. Um, what is it? Six percent ABV. Um, saving that, I've had that one for probably about a week now, and. Um, yeah, just savouring it, I suppose. I had one other beer review, which I've um, just put out. Um, so that's cool. Um, what else have we got going on? Um, my hops that I've been growing, they've actually been going really well. Just gone nuts. Um, growing probably one or two centimetres a day. Um, so that's pretty cool. That's happening. Um, I might be able to show you real quick out the window. I mean, I mean yeah. That one on the um, on the right there is certainly doing quite well. She's probably about oh, 40 centimetres high now. So uh, that's pretty cool. Um, just on Sunday, um, did my brew with Bill. Um, we did a 50 litre batch uh, of all grain um, and added in an adjunct uh, which was uh, palm sugar or jaggery um, so that was pretty cool that stuff man whew, it tastes like candy floss eh? looking pretty good <laughs> just chuck some Motueka hops in got a nice slow rolling boil happening hops. Bill's got some more hops nom 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 go here. <laughs> what we got? We got a bunch of 15 minute hops. Oh, yep. So we got the Holotau. Yep. 11 grand. Which is that one? Nelson Savan. Yep. We got Fuggle. So we got a Fuggle. Now, why do we have two? Oh, okay. We got a Fuggle at 15 minutes and a Fuggle at 5 minutes. Oh, yep. Here you go. So cool. the Fuggle 26. This is going to be the Fuggle at 15 minutes. Oh, yep. These three cool. are all 15 minutes. Cool. This one here is at the last five minutes. Well, boil's been happening for seven minutes now, so I've just I just called it at six thirty-five. So <laughs> we'll go with that. There we go. Getting a bit dark now. <laughs> Starting to run out of light. See how we go. It's going to be an interesting beer. Um, I mean, the grain bill's pretty light. Um, <clears throat> mainly all pale malt um, with just a little bit of um, crystal so um, should yeah should be an interesting one um, and what else we did three different hops uh, did Nelson Severn, Halitar and Fuggles and um, there was uh, a 60 minute and then there were a couple 15s and a 5 so uh, and maybe a 10, I can't remember. Um, but yeah, no, that, that'll be quite interesting. A uh, nice little blend of hops there. And um, yeah, can't wait for that to um, be ready actually. I've, um, I've actually got it in here fermenting. Um, oh, gosh, well, I've, I've got half of it. We, um, we split it in half and um, I mean, that's, that's just how we're doing it. But uh, here it is there. Sitting down there, sitting at about, whew, can't really see, 15, 16, 17, probably about 17 degrees down there at the moment, so that's, that's good. Um, so yeah, yeah. So it's been a while since I've done an all grain batch actually, and um, I found it good to buddy up with someone. I mean, it was, it was cool. Because you know you could chat throughout the process, um, and it's it's a bit more helpful to have you know more than one person doing it. You know, it was really cool. Um, and uh, yeah, no, Bill Bill does a few brews himself, and um, he sort of knows what he's doing. <laughs> the only problem we did have, though, um, well, there's probably two problems. One one was um, with the strike water. We um, we got to that stage of the of the preparation for the brew, and we sort of thought, "Oh man, you know, what, what temperatures should we should we you know set this up for?" 
and um, sort of looked it up online and found oh, okay if we want to hit sort of you know 67 then then we should probably put in 80 degree water as a strike quarter so um, that worked out perfectly fine like absolutely perfectly um, pop the thermometer in oh 67 68 done bang left it for an hour to mash so that was pretty cool um, <clears throat> the other problem we had was um, we borrowed some brewing kit off um, uh, someone that Bill knows because um, he's a supplier and you know, he knows a few people and um, that that's how we were enabled to do the um, 50 litre batch because um, we managed to borrow this kit but um, we had the chili bin uh, mash tun uh, you know one of those sort of things that you rig together uh, you know with some mesh hose and all that sort of stuff and um, that was cool but we just sort of you know had to figure out how to use the gear as well um, so um, that sort of you know made it made it take a little bit longer I think in total we were probably at it um, from start to end for maybe seven hours seven and a half hours so um, that was a bit ridiculous but um, no, we got there in the end and um, I think we'll I think we would have turned out a nice product it, it seems to have um, seems to have brewed nicely um, had a really nice crash call I think it took about 25 minutes to um, get from well boiling down to 23 degrees um, I was aiming for 25 but um, it was freaking cold outside eh? I mean I was out there in my shorts and um, shirt and it was, a, it was like 9 degrees <laughs> so it's still pretty cold here in New Zealand we're not really in summer yet um, which is annoying I wish we were but um, yeah that, that's how that went um, pretty good um, original gravity is 1060 so um, that's looking pretty cool so I might have a ABV of like I don't know like seven or so seven something um, so that's nice nice alcohol content and we'll end up with 25 liters each um, and he's, he just texted me before and he said um, right splitting the costs and um, right your share is twenty dollars and I was like Oh, okay, that's cheap. <laughs> so, it's it just goes to show how amazingly cheap brewing can be, and I mean that's that's half the reason why I brew, you know, because it's cheap. You know, you don't have to go to the supermarket and spend like two or three dollars per three thirty mil, which will come in a twenty four pack, you know. So you're paying like a crap load of money for some crap beer. So um, no, it's it's really good. And um, I mean, although the all grains take a while to do, um, you know, five hours or whatever on average, I'm guessing, um, you know, it's just labor, you know, you're not paying anyone, so it's it's all free, you know, um, and you just pay for the ingredients and off you go. So yeah, yeah. Um, what else did I have to bring up today? Um, that's right, on uh, on Saturday, man, I had a bit of a um, beer weekend, brewing on Sunday, did something on Saturday as well. Um, I went to uh, a mate's house, uh, uh, Mike, and um, he hosted the um, local home brewing uh, meetup, and uh, I think they call it a crate swap. And uh, basically what you what you do, well, historically and, and you know, they still kind of do this, is, is you know, you, you take a crate of your beer over and you just swap it around and take home a big mix of um, whatever you know and um, that was pretty cool um, although no one was really uh, doing any swapping I um, sort of took some beers along just left them on the bench hey you know divvy them out because I had to leave a bit early and um, I quickly uh, talked to uh, one of the guys there um, and he actually brought in some hop rhizomes and I was like oh cool you know I I'm growing a few of those, you know, I wouldn't mind taking some. And um, he seems to reckon that he's uh, he's got Nelson Savin and Pacific Jade, and that's exactly what he brought in. So <clears throat> here I've got a big, massive, ugly Pacific Jade. So I'm going to plant that. Um, that's actually this one here. This one in the middle is just a little guy. Um, and apparently that is uh, an experimental uh, hot rhizome. Like, oh, okay, cool. I'll plant that, but um, I'm not too sure what it is, and I don't think they do either. Um, so, 
Um, we'll have to see how that goes. But um, here's my uh, pride and joy here. Gosh, um, the uh, it's pretty hard to see, isn't it? The Nelson Savin uh, hot prism. So I'll have to um, get that one in the ground as well. Um, what I might do is um, set up another three buckets, kind of like I've got out there, and um, just put them to the side and rig up some strings, or maybe put one to each side, whatever, and uh, just grow grow them like that. So yeah, no, it's um, going to be pretty full on with hops around here, that's for sure. And um, gee, if I can get anything off the um, Nelson Savin and Pacific Jade ones, I'll, I'll be real real keen. Because um, the ones that are out there, I don't actually know what they are. Um, with the exception of the first one I ever had, which is still out there, the, the red coloured one, um, apparently that's a variety from California. That's all I know about it. And um, the others are just Hop X. So, yeah, that no, should be good. Um, what else have we got coming up? Um, Probably not a heck of the, probably not a heck of a lot in the way of brewing, um, because uh, we've we've got a baby due um, in a couple months, and I uh, just want to sort of get prepared for that. You know, get a couple brews behind me, which I've done. So um, uh, that'll be a nice stock. I wait a couple months for um, that to age, and then start drinking it. But um, yeah, I'll, I'll probably do the odd beer review, actually, so um, we'll see how that goes, and um, if we're all lucky, I might might be able to sneak in another brew, um, and we'll see how that goes. I might sort of try and make that my last brew, <laughs> so we'll see how, see how it goes. Um, but yeah, as, as soon as the little one comes along, I'll, I'll probably have to slow it down a little, um, although I'll, I'll try and keep you guys up to date, you know, I, I might miss the odd uh, homebrew Wednesday, but um, that will see how we go, I'll try real hard to keep it up, it's, um, it's a really cool um, idea actually, um, and uh, what was what was Craig, Craig said, Craig, you know, Craig Tube, Craig Faraway, he said, um, I think it was SJ Paws uh, idea, so um, good on him, yeah, it's pretty Pretty sweet idea, um, Homebrew Wednesday. So uh, yeah, no, I think that's um, that's about all really. Um, in upcoming Homebrew Wednesdays, though, I, I might try and um, crack out my glassware and uh, show off a bit of that. Um, I've actually got a few notes here written about what I was thinking about doing, um, what to drink and what glass, how the hops are going. I mean, that's something that will just you know, be ongoing, I suppose. Um, maybe some different brewing books. I've got a few of those lying around, so it'd be cool to show that off to you guys. And you know, if you guys are keen on buying books and that sort of stuff. Um, and uh, I guess the uh, black IPA. Once that's um, carbonated, I'll I'll go and check that out. I've got a um, I've got a small test uh, bottle of that, so. Um, I'll be quite quite happy to crack that open just whenever, you know, it's it's only half full so I don't want to leave it in there too long. I'm, I'm just real keen to see, um, you know, what's it going to taste like roughly, so um, they'll be coming up soon as well. So there, there's a couple of weeks there just like that, boom. So um, yeah, um, I'll have to sign out and uh, get back to work I suppose. <laughs> so yeah, happy Homebrew Wednesday and um, we'll catch you guys later. Cheers.